Welcome. <clears throat> Welcome to Thoughts Roundup. And uh, another uh, session with verbal memoirs. I don't know how long I'll go with that, but uh, uh, I'm going to go a little further. And <clears throat> the episode that I'm speaking to you today about, I have used in probably online and I have, I know that I have used it in uh, sermons before. Uh, but anyway, an elderly lady called me, a grandma called me when I was in Dallas with the church. And she said, I, I know that you folks believe in healing. And she said, I have a six-year-old granddaughter that's in the hospital with leukemia and she is not expected to live. Would you be so kind as to go over and pray for her? I said, sure, I'll go pray for her. And I knew what time the hospital closed and I realized I had about 45 minutes and I went on over that night. As I walked in, I saw the little girl, beautiful little blonde-headed girl, kind of leaning up on her bed. And uh, what was it was obvious that it was her mother and father to the just to my left. And I guess I might have been a little awkward. I don't know, but I said to them, I said. I'm a minister. Grandma called me and asked me to come pray f for the little girl. And uh, I said, uh, I began to tell him how God could heal. The stripes placed upon his back and uh, him inviting us to call upon his name, and that sort of a thing. Well, after I had kind of run down a little bit, they looked at me and said, well, uh, Reverend, whatever you do to administer this, let go ahead. Well, I never had it put together, put to, to me just like that. <laughs> whatever you do to administer this. So I walked from them to the little girl. It was a long walk because I... I was very perplexed in a way. And uh, I got to her bedside and I had a little oil in my pocket and I took it out and put it on my finger. I said, now honey, I don't want you to be afraid, but I'm going to put some of this oil on your head. And she said, I'm not afraid. So I, I kind of thought, well, is, is nobody going to stop me here, you know? And... Uh, so I thought to myself, I have got to pray a whopper of a prayer. This has got to sound good. This has got, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have thought that. But anyway, that's what I thought. And I couldn't think of it, a big prayer. I couldn't think of our Father, God of the universe. I, I couldn't think of anything and so it was as if God had taken it from my thinking and so I put my hand on her head and I said in the name of Jesus heal this little girl and to make it just a little bit more emphatic I said it again God Heal this little girl in the name of Jesus. Well, I'd have liked to tell you that the windows rattled and the earth moved and uh, the floors and everything and people started screaming with delight. I'd like to tell you that, but that wasn't what happened.
I walked out, said goodbye to the baby, to the girl, and to the parents, went to a restaurant and sat down, and as my custom is, I write on a napkin or a piece of paper, and I just wrote, you are so stupid, you are so stupid. After about 45 minutes, I got up and went home. When I got home, there was a, the phone was ringing, and I reached in and got it, and it was Grandma. And she said, oh, Brother Marler, something wonderful has happened over at the hospital. She said, as you was leaving out, a team of doctors came for a special, some kind of a special uh, a look at her examination. And it wasn't long till they told the family, we can find no trace of leukemia where it was there definitely today, we can find. And they said there must have been something in the blood that was given her from Wadley Blood Bank. She had had six pints of blood. And she said there must have been something from that blood that counteracted those wild blood cells. They said, we're going to go back to Wadley Blood Bank and see who the donor was. And we're going to get a hold of it and we're going to examine that blood. I said, hold on, Grandma, hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. If you're going to trace that blood, you're going to have to trace it all the way back to Calvary's Cross. And if you can get a hold of one drop of it, there's enough power in it that everyone in the hospital can walk out single file. That's just one of my memories that I hope will never go away. God bless you.